Welcome to Floating Nifty Podcast. I am Xiao Wen, and I am Noah.、Um, guess what we are drinking today? Ang Zui. Ang Zui Oleong Dai. Well, dear, dear, dear. Really? Oh, oh, by the way, that was Taiwanese. Hong Shui Oolong Cha. That's Chinese. What's the English? Hong Shui Oolong Cha. Red water. Oh. Black dragon tea. <laughs> Uh, so we are going to drink two Loshan Hongshui's.、Uh, What's the English translation of Loshan? Di Di Shan. The English translation. <laughs> Low Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we are very mischievous on that one. Low Mountain. Low Mountain. As opposed to High Mountain. mountain. <laughs> 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 um, so anyway, we are going to drink two Loshan. Hongshui from Shiding. Ah,、uh, one is currently on our website, ah,、uh, which have been on there for. It's been like a couple months, I think. At least, right?、Yeah. And it has been very popular, so it's gonna run out pretty soon. The last time we had one switch was when we had that really green one, that one that started off really green and then it turned darker and darker. I'm not sure. I can. It was. It was. I just can't remember.、Anymore. I can't remember when it was. Yeah. But anyway, we had this one. I think it's probably been a couple months. And now, now we are going to、uh, release the new Loshan Hongshui. Release the Black Dragon. Shut up! <laughs> release the new. You keep like interrupting、oh, my sorry, thinking. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Pretty soon. So let's compare it today. And I have two balls of. Both the、uh, Hongshui's in front of me,、mm. and then now I look at the leaves. They look very different on the color. It's from the same farmer. The Loshan farmer. Loshan, <laughs> 他不是 Loshan. He is not Loshan farmer. He's he Shi Ding farmer. <laughs> oh, so this is the new one. This one on my right. Yes. The leaves are are、uh, lighter. Yes. The leaves look lighter. The leaves look a little bit on the like a mix between some dark red leaves and some a little bit almost like Dongding colored leaves. Mm. And then the one on the left, the old the old batch is is purely just really dark.、Mm-hmm. But both rolled the same way. That kind of loose rolling,、mm-hmm. more traditional style rolling.、Mm-hmm. This new one smells more fruity. More fruity.、Mm-hmm. And the previous batch smells more caramely. Eh, sweeter,、mm-hmm. deeper, darker. Darker. Nah, not deeper. Darker. darker. Okay,、yeah. cool. So I'm going to、uh, start with the new Loshan Hongshui today.、Oh, okay, cool. And actually, quite. Uh, excited to brew this one today. I think I tried brewing this tea twice so far.、Uh, first time when I try it, first infusion shot pretty nicely. Second infusion, I was interrupted by a wonderful customer, and so big shout out to Ryan. He came to pick up his tea and pick up a guy one for his roommate, and he told me how much he enjoy our. Pockets. Oh, that's the best kind of interruption. I know, and 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 told me that、uh, our pockets help him to go through this lockdown time. Oh, cool! And so it just wonderful <laughs> feedback, you know, to have interaction with people like this. I mean, to say this podcast helped us get through lockdown time too. <laughs> yes, but. What is really good is it gave me a opportunity to soak my second infusion of this new Lausanne Hongshui for however many minutes I was talking to him, and I came back,、um, and I decided to try the tea, and I noticed it was overbrew, of course, probably at least ten minutes in a Gong Fu tea session.、Mm. Um, however, the structure did did not break. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, and I try a third infusion, but since I soak it for such a long time in the second infusion, the third one kind of feel a little bit off,、mm. which is very fair, I would say. And then I think the next time I try it again, it's it's in a way the same phenomenon. I was interrupted for whatever reason, <laughs> <laughs> my mind.、Mm. <laughs> I was interrupted by myself. That's Kosho one's talking mind. <laughs> So let's see today,、uh, how it's gonna show up after my previous super emotional episode. Yay! <laughs> and see, and lately the tea has been it's been good, really good. Yeah, yeah. So I have day、uh, in day out. Uh, 
good tea sessions. Confidence that that the tea is gonna show through. Hmm. Smells really good. Fruity, huh?、Mm, like、really fruity. fruity. Oh, okay. So now we are back from the first infusion. <laughs> I have to say, this tea is very. I'm not sure if I can call this tea mischievous. Once again,、uh, right after the first infusion, we got interrupted by a fabulous new customer.、Um, it asked a lot of questions. And so I couldn't brew the second infusion. Basic. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time I didn't put the water in. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> But it's in a way still like, crazy though. <laughs> like every single time, I think I brew this tea three times, and I'm always interrupted by the second infusion.、Um, if you guys have any thoughts on that phenomenon, please contact me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try to see if I can. Really do the second infusion <laughs> <laughs> after ten minutes of a break from、mm. the previous brewing. I just tasted because I was actually talking to the customer.、Mm-hmm. I just tasted the first infusion after it was cold. Tastes really fruity. The aftertaste is insanely fruity, like a. It's almost like one of those hazy IPAs, those really like、mm. with lots of tropical fruit notes,、mm. with like a slight bitterness, but more on the really, 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 really fruity kind of feeling. Sounds really good. It tastes really good cold. <laughs> oh, good. I'm not saying we should make it an iced tea, but dang, it's really tasty, <laughs> right? Like, like that. So Noah drank the cool down one because he was talking to the customer, and I drank the, I actually drank the warm, the hot one, and it felt really comfortable.、Mm. Yeah, there's that, there's that, that gentle, soothing feeling of a Hong Shui Oolong.、Mm. And it felt really good. So that C. Ang Zui Ki Kui. Ang Zui Ye Kui. No, it's currently rolling out some Taiwanese words. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta、one. prepare for my next life as a pineapple farmer. <laughs> Shut up. How do you say pineapple in Mandarin Chinese and Taiwanese? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bo Luo. Bo Luo. Uh, ta- uh, uh Taiwan called Feng Li. Feng Li, 对 And Taiwanese. Ha Ang Hong. Hong Lui, Ong Ong Lai, huh? Ong Lai, Ong Lai, Ong Lai, 不对 Ong Lai, Ong Lai, 不对 Ong Lai, Ong Lai, Ong Lai, Ong Lai, 不对 Oh, <laughs> and maybe we'll never be a pineapple farmer in Taiwan. Well, you can still say Ong Lai, and then they will understand. <laughs> <laughs>、uh. Taiwanese has a lot of tones. Yeah, I know. Yeah, incredibly, a lot of tones. It's too, <laughs> too yeah, many. Too many. <laughs> so if you guys think Mandarin Chinese have four point five tones, it's like so difficult. <laughs> Wait until you learn like Cantonese <laughs> and Taiwanese. It's weird. <laughs> also, with the same words, if you put it in two different sentences, the same word will change. Like a question and the an answer, the same word will change tone. That's、uh. how epic it is. It's always it's so much fun. <laughs> Epically difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really dark. <laughs> ah. Okay. Would you like to talk about the second infusion? Yeah. Very comfortable.、Mm-hmm. Really,、so- really comfortable tea. Yeah. I I. I think because the gap was so long between the first infusion and the second infusion, it maybe lost some of the more delicate high notes that I was getting in the first infusion.、Mm. Um, that kind of hazy IPA fruitiness—it was really crazy and, and and really sweet. But the the feeling is even more comfortable when it's—I mean, maybe because the tea is hot, maybe because it's opened up more. But either way, it just like goes to my stomach and then feels just like a blanket. It just、mm. really, really warm. And comfortable.、Mm. Um, I am just very happy that I was able to maintain the second infusion because a lot of times after I lose the rhythm, the it's really hard to bring it back, right? Yeah, it's really hard to bring it back. I'm just really thrilled that the second infusion maintains.、Uh, also, if people are listening and they notice, like I normally break it down from the scent. 
to the texture, to the throw sensation, to how the tea moves, um, you notice that I'm not doing that as much since the last episode recording. Um, I will say for beginners, maybe still pick up a, one thing and practice that and go really deep with it. Um, but after you are with tea for a while, maybe try to practice to gather them together and look at tea as a whole thing. Uh, after, after all, our body shouldn't be separated that mm-hmm. way. But I think in the beginning, I actually was in the li- dilemma on should I present tea that way? Mm. Um, and we decided to move along with that method, yeah. which I think is really helpful, uh, even to us, you know, to really look at, look at things in a very microscopic de- details. However, if you dwell too much on that, there's a danger that we are going to cut tea into pieces. Um, so nowadays I come back to kind of just like overall watch tea as one big picture, which there's a beauty on that is I notice nowadays my tea, when I watch tea that way, of course it connect more because I didn't, I didn't break it down. So what happened is my body told me that on the second infusion, of course, in the beginning before I drank tea, it would be, to- it would be totally on the scent. And I didn't really analyze what the scent is. I kind of just watch it and just like, oh, wow, bright and expansion, you know. And then the moment I start to drink it, I didn't let the tea linger on certain space. I let what the tea, uh, in a way, show up on. I would say this tea show up, the warmth show up in the throat a lot. And so normally when you start to do that, I start to look how it moves downwards, actually. And there's that warmth, that really wonderful, I call it um, radiation movement into my body. And yet if you watch your whole body, it moves up too. So there's a wonderful connection at the throat area. It doesn't only uh, connect with the physical body, the energy connect to the, to the upper body and the, the head too. And you become one whole physical experience and they see if the third infusion will show up that way or not mm. Mm. very comfortable again <laughs> <laughs> i was i was a uh, hong is so soothing right yes yeah, really soothing and really comfortable i i kept thinking about something though that i wanted to say but i was trying to not <laughs> get sidetracked from drinking tea yeah but you were talking about you know the difference between breaking it down Mm -hmm. kind of what we're paying attention to Mm -hmm. versus not breaking it down Mm -hmm. and letting it flow as a Mm -hmm. whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it made me think that there's a difference between, well, let me say that a different way. Mm -hmm. Made me think about attention, just the concept of attention. Mm -hmm. Attention has to be attention on something. Attention doesn't exist on its own. It's always um, arises in tandem with the thing that the attention is being focused on, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and as we start out and, and it's always good to come back to these things is uh, having our attention on some things like more specific, right? It's like, if I just focus on my throat, like I was doing back when I started, started drinking tea with you, (laughs) just keep my attention on my throat. (laughs) Eventually I was able to feel it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, the way that we're drinking the tea in the podcast today is a little bit more like the way we drink tea in 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 a regular tea session when we're not talking about it the entire time mm-hmm. um is to just drink the tea mm-hmm. and i noticed that i had this feeling that the attention the longer we spend with the tea or with tea in general attention is able to grow mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to be uh, and to not just grow wider but also to deepen to be on the th- the more like the essence of the tea itself yes right the, yeah. not only watching the entire body all at the same time but also watching the the personality of the tea as it shows up mm-hmm. yeah we said um i would say it would re- remind me of uh uh my vipassana retreat mm. uh i went to do a many years ago i went to do uh my ever first vipassana 
um, retreat. It's a type of a meditation, and it's a silent retreat. But for first three days,、um, the technique told us to only focus on the sensation、um, below the nostril and on the top、uh, above the lips. That's it for three days. And the purpose they say was to let us practice what they even how it work and to sharpen our mind to do that. So I will say, you know, in the beginning when we teach people to focus on the sand, focus on the nose, focus on the、uh, texture in the mouth, focus on the throat, focus on blah blah. <laughs> It almost remind me of that technique.、Mm. Get it sharpened. Get your tools really sharp to be able to deal with what is coming later.、Mm. It's meditation only focus on one area. I don't think so. <laughs> right. It later maybe it spent to our daily life. Right. It's about our thoughts. Doing dishes not focusing at all. Talking to a friend, a family member not focusing at all. So I think with tea. Yes, it is very important to focus on one area, and yet later, it kind of also downplay the T when we do it that way. Also, I'm very, also,、um, you know, I'm very into like space, opening a space、mm. and opening a rhythm,、mm. and with that,、uh, with that rhythm, sometimes space kind of combine into one, and it become richer and. And bigger, and so nowadays I feel like remember in one of our podcasts we were talking about we try to find the rhythm,、mm-hmm. and it's nothing to do with da 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 da. Pour water in, pour water out. Do it fast. Keep the heat. Da 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 da. Oh, I just changed the rhythm by the way. Whoops. Um, the actual rhythm, the actual rhythm. In a way, it feels like in with teachers in Taiwan, they were able they were able to open a space rhythm, and make like we we call we call it they create a space. Um, and we are like stand in a time zone in that space, in there whatever they created, and I think nowadays with us more. Letting it go and not analyzing the tea, and seriously, still I will say, from last podcast, I will still give it to myself and give give it to everybody who is listening. Really stay with your tea. Give your tea a respect like that. You will be amazed with the reward that you are gonna receive. The space I'm. I feel like lately, we have been able to do a little bit.、Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And what am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> Rhythm and space, time and space. Yeah. Yeah. And I just feel like nowadays the timing is richer, the space is richer now,、mm. and just because simply because I make a dedication that when I brew tea, I would do my best to just brew tea, and hopefully get rid of some of the thoughts I'm not successful yet. Don't think about what I. Five more tasks I have on my plate. When I drink tea, the same thing. Just sometimes I'll have a smile nowadays when I just look at the wonderful, rich tea broth color that is in my cup. Then I know that I build that connection already. Then tea is gonna give me a lot of reward because I simply look at the tea and smile, <laughs> but not faking about it, you know. I was the other day. I was contemplating just teapots, just looking at the teapot,、yeah. the Yixing teapot. It's、yeah. like such a, it's a container, right? Yes. And it's a pretty incredible container because it contains not only the elements of the tea, the heat, and the water,、mm. but also of timing,、mm. right, and space. Yes. And、wow. just like really inspired by how amazing a good teapot can. Can be,、mm-hmm. and then I just like, well, I get to interact with that thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, we're so lucky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just like felt so happy to just pour hot water in the teapot to warm it up. It's like, whoa, this is really awesome. Yeah. So to bring that back,、uh, that I don't break it down,
um, on the third infusion, I simply also let the tea lead me to watch the tea. And still, the biggest presence actually from this uh, new Loshan Hong Shui, uh, it shows up on my throat a lot. And still, that wonderful moving down. The texture is a bit thinner than the second infusion because it got stew in between for such a long time, even without water in there. And yet, if I keep watching, there's that sensation of that thing goes up to my skull. A mm. skull? Skull. Skull. Yeah. On my head. And not just to the top of my head, like on my whole head. And I was like, is that a scent? No, I already smelled it two minutes ago. Mm. Did the scent smell that vibe? Did the scent keep that vibration that long? No, 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 no. It sent up from the back of my neck. Mm. Wow. <laughs> What a powerful sensation, mm. you know, and to connect and to relax into the tea and to see where, where, where does it go? Oh, I think I can feel it on my legs, mm. you know, like that kind of stuff. And then it become one whole picture and the tea become really full, goes there, goes there and just like really pretty. Not even like, oh, this tea is so powerful and macho that it goes to so many places on my body. I don't know why I changed voice, but <laughs> that, that was my macho voice. Um, just to, <laughs> shit. Mm. to go to so many places, then where, wherever it go out, it come out, I just simply feel it and look at it and with an amazement, you know. Now we are going into the current Lausan Hong Shui that is on our website. Not a lot left. And thank I thank this tea um, to help me to go through the lockdown time. Mm. I drank it a lot. I drank it like at least once a day. And sometimes just grandpa style when I don't feel like brewing. There's something about it that is so comforting, you know. And I think it's helping a lot of people to receive that comfort. And so we are extremely grateful of this tea. So let's compare the two. Sounds good. Hopefully you took a snapshot. I did. That, that scent of the, of the the dry leaves in the warm pot, it's really, really rich. I haven't drank this one in Gong Fu style for a long time. Just yeah. drinking grandpa style all the time. I forgot that it has uh, such a slow opening. It has a, a long development in the first two infusions. of The first infusion is actually really light. Yeah, I'm not sure because I was like looking at the broth. I was like, did I brew it too short? I think that you brewed this the same. And I, I remember this from when I wrote the description. Oh, okay. So I, I've, I've memorialized it in writing so, and, <laughs> and I've gone back to it and seen it. So I, I remember mm. that I that we had the experience of this same thing is it starts off really light, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the, the actual... Uh, the actual dry color of the is the, much darker. The much darker than the previous. The dry one. leaves are much darker. The scent. Uh, I was I was saying right before we drank the tea, or right before you started brewing the tea, the scent of the dry leaves in the in the warm pot is really rich, mm. really caramely and 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 full. Yeah, and the broth show up much lighter. Yeah, and there's a uh, almost a uh, there's a uh, so we just drank the first infusion and it felt more delicate. Yeah. Then the the next uh, Lo San Hong Shui that we are gonna carry, which the leaves actually looks much lighter. Yeah. So kind of do a reverse turn, really fun. This farmer is pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. And the feeling on the first infusion, um, so the previous, so I'm gonna confuse people now. The next new Lo San Hong Shui that we just drank. I feel like the biggest presence is actually at my th- yeah. throat. Yeah. And it's it just really like, warm in the throat. It's just like opening up and I would say it almost send a like radiation feeling, warm radiates uh, into the body and just like slowly and consistently, gently fill up the body. This one actually on the throat sensation is not as prominent. And I was like watching that where in my body do I feel the most? Do I feel it in my body? Oh, yes, it feels really nice. Oh, wow, there's a huge difference in these two tea. The one that is on our website, Lo San Hong Shui, feels like it just immediately go into the uh, belly and it just 
it just from the belly. You don't feel it movement moving, and you just fill up the whole body with a very comfortable feeling. That's what I noticed the biggest in these two tea. It's like softer and more pillowy and and like almost cloud like. Yeah, and, and the, it doesn't send up to my skull the, as much. The first, the one that we just drank, which is going to be on the website soon. Yeah, the new batch. Yeah, is uh, it has a really full, robust presence. That you can you can you can feel it, really warm. Yeah, and both are warm, but so much fun. Yeah, and both are comfortable tea. Yeah, you know, I think Hongshui. <laughs> Hong Shui so is just comfortable. Yeah, especially this farmer and and the La La Shan farmer. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess maybe Gaba Hong Shui in general. Yeah, if it's a good tea. It's just supposed to be comfortable. It's yeah. really comfortable. Can't wait to get Gaba. Uh, I mean the La La Shan again, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I miss the La La Shan. These two farmers are just incredible, and they have such a different presentation on yeah. the, on the same style teas. Yeah. So we just finished the second infusion of the Lo San Hong Shui that is currently listed on our website, and I would say for me personally, it um, the second infusion uh, we like keep the I call it theme T H E M E the the same theme as the first infusion, very elegant and very comfortable. The、uh, description that I wrote, I remember now. I wrote it's like a drama unfolding. Drinking that second infusion, I remember why I said that. Is the first infusion is like、um, a dancer、mm. comes out under the stage and bows、mm. silently, and then the second infusion, like the music starts to play and they start to move. Wow, that's so amazing. <laughs> I mean, the sense of development in this tea is is just incredible.、Mm. Wow. I just finished drinking the、uh, third infusion of、uh, this Lo San Hong Shui,、okay. and I can totally see what you are saying. The development—it's really dancing right now, and it also does the the、uh, that movement to go all the way to my head. Thingy like the like the previous tea that we just drank. So for a moment, I was like. What? Wait a second. Which tea am I drinking? <laughs> <laughs> wow! It become into a much bigger tea on the third infusion.、Mm. Crazy! <sighs> so much fun. There's an aroma that starts to open. It's a lot like chocolate.、Mm. The rest in the back of the throat. There's another one that opens. It's kind of like、uh, almost like almost yeasty or like fermented fruit a little bit、uh. that comes and then rises rises through the nostrils and up to the top of the head.、Uh-huh. And The first infusion is not there at all, and then it just kind of yeah, like slowly、yeah. becomes more and more and more and more intense. Yeah, even like the third, the third infusion, the smell it was just like wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I was just like, it's gonna bloom, it's gonna bloom.、Mm. <laughs> so much fun. Um, so um, I'm very grateful that I've been having so much fun brewing tea and. Enjoying my tea,、mm-hmm. <laughs> the word enjoy, the word joy,、uh, I think nowadays show up much, much more in my tea brewing and in my tea drinking,、uh, thanks to Tina Han.、Um, and so I hope you know many people out there that who are drinking tea will have the same or even more amount of joy. You know that the tea. Pop up in so many places that give you that. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um. So just you know, let the tea show up to many different places in your body. Sometimes they are like a old friend, and you just feel that wonderful. How do you call it? Familiarity.、Mm. And sometimes just like. Wow, I did. I didn't know this tea will be this way, and just that the、um, wonderful surprises to bring some joys to you.、Um, and still, I would like to keep the last challenge up there. When you brew a tea, please try to stay with it, and when you are sipping your tea, also try to stay with it. I guarantee you, you are going to be rewarded. So much by tea, yeah. 
and uh, maybe before I go, I should maybe put a little bit of uh, in the end. What is that? Notes or whatever. Notes, yeah. At 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 um, at addendum or whatever. Addendum. Um, addend- addendum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Noah was talking about focus. Oh yeah. Overall, it's a good thing. I think focus in a certain spot, or focus just generally focus. Attention. 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 Yeah. Another thing that you can do with your tea is open up the space to make the attention bigger and more rich as well by following it in different spaces in your body rather than just one spot. And just try to do it one at a time. You know, at first it might be a little bit um, uh, tricky, I would say. So still, if you feel that it's uncomfortable, just focus in one spot for now. And I would, I would say it's, that is the uh, stage of you sharpening, sharpening up your tools. And when your tools are so wonderful to be used, you will be able to expand that, that space and the timing. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Sounds good. So much renting. <laughs> like a mom. Ah. <laughs> Happy tea drinking, everybody. Uh, give us your feedback and try to communicate with us. As I say, it gives us fuels. So thank you so much for those of people who uh, give us fuels. Our next YouTube video is going to be up on Thursday again. Um, the same thing. Give us feedback. So big shout out to Ting Shen. He just asked me 10 questions already. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> so I'll have a lot of materials to talk about on my next few YouTube videos too. And maybe I'll bring it on to the, uh, to the podcast as well. Oh, cool. Mine cool. as well. That's great. Okay. So stay safe and be happy. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.